Hi all, Chris Oliver here. Once again, laying in bed in my underwear. Once again, saving the world. I had to uh, disable all my comments on YouTube and Reddit, which I really hate to do, but it's uh, it's very much a necessity because, well, demons. <laughs> I had better things to do than spending my life uh, removing comments from demons, so it's just much easier to just remove all comments. And that's fine because really I want you to listen to what I'm saying and I want you to think for yourself. I want you to ask yourself, what's in it for me if I do... I, I want you to ask this question all the time. What's in it for me if I do think what you tell me to think? It's a, it's a very, very important question. Uh, and those who fear free speech are not to be trusted. That's just general life advice. They fear free speech, they are not to be trusted. Uh, so my apologies for disabling those, but I'm afraid it is for very practical reasons. Uh, as you can imagine, I have gotten <laughs> so, so many comments. It is hilarious. Um, I've made it, I've, uh, I've even had people make posts about me on Reddit, uh, in our drama and in, uh, Top Minds of Reddit. I think I've made Top Minds of Reddit twice now. Twice! Which is quite an honor for an account that's only 16 days old, when you say, so. It's beautiful to see this disinformation campaign actually, <laughs> like, starting against me, and, uh, I, I could not be more pleased, I could not be more pleased, because all this, you know, of course, you know, the old saying, there's, uh, there is no bad publicity, um, you know, I, I think I come across pretty reasonable, uh, you know, I'm the first to admit that my story is insane, but I, I hope I, <laughs> myself, come across as a pretty reasonable guy who just kind of has this, uh, this role thrust upon him, I can't, uh, you know, I am, uh, I'm, I'm proud of the things I've done as a man, um, I've created some cool things, I've, you know, I've, I've always strived for truth and, you know, better fit of my, of my fellow man, uh, so I'm proud of the things I've done as a man, but I, I bring you this message without ego, without pride, because this, these are not my words, these are just the message I've been given to deliver. I think that's, that's an important distinction. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the, uh, the many forms, the many forms that demons arise in. I've been mostly pointing out the more uh, aggressive, the more uh, nitpicky, the angrier ones, but uh, that old saying, uh, the devil comes in many forms, could not be more true. That is very, very uh, very true, very literally true. Um, you know, the more I think about my own life, I realize that it breaks my heart. But every one of my uh, every one of my girlfriends, I'm, I'm pretty sure almost every one of them has been a demon put there specifically to appeal to my sense of lust and my uh, desire for a sense of belonging. And it worked. It worked in a big, big way. Uh, you know, I. I loved those girls, they really felt like they loved me at the time, and maybe, uh, maybe they really did. Maybe they really did love me, that's, uh, that's not really up for debate, that's, uh, yeah, it's not really important. Um, and you know, it's, it's a painful realization to have, just how alone I've been on my path this entire time, but on the other hand, I'm here, I'm fine, I've never got hungry, I've never been attacked. Um, and it's just that that knowledge of, of where all the fear and insecurity comes from is from these literal demons uh, it's, it's freeing it's freeing because I know they cannot hurt me and I know that my fellow man never would do these things these, these horrible actions these long con deceptions uh, the you know the the loves I've lost, the uh, the criticisms I've received in my life, these these things are not for my fellow man, and that's part of the reason that I love all of you so much is because you know I, I know all the insecurities I've ever felt, I know all the panic and fear I've ever known. It, it, for the most part, it wasn't for my fellow man. I mean, we all have our we all have our bad days, but none of us are overly critical. You know, criticism's good. When someone criticizes, or critiques, I should say, uh, critiques would be a better word, but, you know, same, same idea, really. When someone critiques something you've done, really you need to listen to what they say, consider it, see if it fits into your bigger picture of what you're trying to create, and then choose to use it or not. I mean, nothing wrong with criticism. It's, 
it's really the people that nitpick the most minute <laughs> bullshit. Really, just go to Reddit and look at my account, Chris Oliver Times, and uh, <laughs> just open any of my posts with over a hundred comments, and you will just see me exchanging back and forth with demons because it's it's hilarious to me. It's so much fun just to see how angry and nitpicky they can get. And, you know, I'm armed with research and logic here. I'm not just some guy who woke up one day and decided there was a god. I'm some guy who went to the desert, faced my own death, and came back to tell you that I faced nothing at all. I faced nothing at all. I, I, guess, that's, uh, I guess that's my message for this video. Uh, the demons come in many forms. Uh, the people who are constantly trying to give you things for nothing it might be because they love you, but it might also be because they want to keep you dependent on a system that you don't need. And if you didn't have those things, you might just realize that you're fine. Everything you need will come to you. As long as you look at what is right in front of you, that is so important. Just look at the things that are in front of you. Look at the gifts that you are being offered by this beautiful world that we live in. Um, one of my new sayings is, uh, Satan intervenes, but God nudges. You know, God is there, God is watching, but God is subtle. God isn't going to try to scare you, God isn't going to try to, you know, appear on a piece of toast. <laughs> that's, that's not God's style. Uh, you know, God's not going to make crop circles. That's not, that's not God's style. God does not intervene, God nudges. God has a master plan, he had, he's had a master, I'm sorry, not he pronouns are tricky when you're talking about God, but God is not a he. God is not spelled with capital G. God is not a man or female. God is a concept you can only hope to grasp. That's it. God is the force that made us something instead of nothing. God is a pure love of creation. That is all God is. A simple but pure love of creation. And, uh, I totally forgot <laughs> what point I was trying to make before I, uh, started uh, telling you what God was, but that feels like a good, a good point to end. So, I love you, be well, be free, and remember, you are safe. You are always safe. You have always been safe. You will never be hurt. You are eternal. It's just a matter of choosing fear and not letting the demons choose fear for you. Did I just tell you to choose fear twice? I just took a good run there. Let's try it again. <laughs> It's up to you to choose love. That's what we were looking for. Love. Because right now you're letting literal demons choose fear. So don't ch let them choose fear for you. Choose love. I think I got the words right that time. I love you. Yeah, yeah, red light means we're going. Hello all, uh, Chris Oliver here. Once again, laying in bed my underwear. <laughs> Take two, eh? Okay, take three, eh?